What's up, my pilots? Angry Poncho here, and we are back playing Minecraft Hardcore. Oh, zombies. I will take those experience balls, thank you very much. In this episode, uh, some glorious things have happened, not the least of which is... Oh, we've updated, as you can see in the upper left-hand corner, to Minecraft 1.1. Yeah! Excitement! Woohoo! Yeah, okay. Not a whole lot has changed here inside our hizzle. I do have some stuff that I reinstalled here, yeah. I updated 1.1, managed to reinstall all my mods. And, uh, it's pretty cool. So everything's working out, looks good. Let's, um, what were we doing in the previous episode? I just had a failed recording of this, so I don't remember where I was. Yes, we, we decided previously, uh, in the last episode, we put down a f couple farms in here. This one's growing. We got a reed farm in here, very nice. And we determined that, uh, since that nice ravine is just oh so handy, actually someone gave me a good idea to put lily pads in my farms, so I'll do that when I get back up. But, uh, which might be for a couple videos here. But now that we have a bow, it's safe for us to take on that ravine down there. And the reason I'm going to use the ravine rather than the mine shaft I was digging is because the ravine will take us right down to the depth without us having to dig there. And it also gives us a much wider access to the stuff we're interested in, namely the resources that are available down there. So we're taking the ravine path, no mining, and I have basically huge caves I can look at the walls of to try and find... Oh, how did you get down here, creeper? Oh, yeah, go ahead and hurt yourself. Where was he looking over there? It wasn't even like he was headed towards me. Get out of here. You silly. I wonder how he spawned in here. Oh god, tell me there's not like a hole in the ceiling somewhere. Mobs are jumping down. That would suck. Maybe it's just not bright enough somewhere. It can be misleading when you have the brightness set up to very bright or <laughs> whatever the default setting is. Oh yeah, I need to make some tools. Shoot, that's what I did in the last episode I didn't do in this one. Balls. Alright. More sticks. We need more sticks. I have a workbench here, don't I? Yes. But clunk. There we go, got some tools now, good to go. Let's put my water bucket back in the hot bar there, take the workbench with us, and get back to what we were doing. So hopefully in this video we can drop down to maybe all the way to the bedrock, depending on how deep that ravine goes. And if we get lucky we might just find ourselves some diamonds! Wouldn't that be nice? <clears throat> Excuse me. It seems whenever I commentate I get a little bit phlegmy. Yeah, we got that gold over there, and there's the ravine, which seems to come right through here. And it actually goes all the way over here, too. Hmm. Let's go ahead and explore this cave here first. Just because we can. Let's be cautious, shall we? So the last time I came through here, I didn't ever light this area up, so probably should just be careful. Yeah, look at that ravine. I see a creeper down there. I see a creeper down there. Now, the good thing about the creepers is that, although they may be camouflaged on the surface, they are far from camouflaged in a cave. This appears to be a dead end. With dirt in the ceiling at the end. Very suspicious. Very suspicious. I'm going to leave it alone. Just because. So I don't see anything down that tunnel. Well, that's a little bit of coal. But it does seem like this is going to be the best way for us to get access to this ravine. So let's carefully dig out a little bit of a staircase here. Ooh, yeah, that's quite a fall. I see some water down there. How do I want to do this? I want to dig a little tunnel down here. That might be the best way to get down there. Make another mine shaft. That way I don't have to try and drop down or climb down the wall or something. Yes, let's do so. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's dig straight down right here. Shall we? I know I know. I said, it. oh, I don't have to do any mining this way. Well, now I can just... <laughs> balls to that, we'll do some mining. Just because I don't want to jump down. I, really, I could use a bucket of water, but then I might get really stuck down there. And it could end badly for us. Let's put a roof over this. So I don't run into it later like an idiot. Fall into it, I mean. No, don't dig with that. Come on now. 
So I guess we'll just mine our way down there, put some ladders down. We got plenty of them. It's fairly convenient. Hopefully it won't bust into any lava on the way down. Of course, when you see ravines... Oh, hello. Oh, wow, we're already almost down there. Okay, that's not very far at all. That's fairly handy. Alright, now let's be cautious. I saw a creeper down there already, so we know that they are around. Yep, it's dark down here. It's quiet. Too quiet. Alright, yeah, that's a ravine. Okay. Let's be careful now. Do not want to screw this up. I see some light coming from somewhere here. Might just be the torch behind me. I want to get rid of that water. That's going to impede my progress here. Let's make a bucket in the wall. Just dig in three blocks like that and put a bucket down in there. So I can take this one. Alright, looks safe to continue here. See creepers in front of me. Now, now I have the danger of mobs falling from above, so I need to be very aware of what the terrain above me looks like as we progress here. In fact, it may have been smart to light to walk around that edge up there and light it up before attempting to come down here. I could have a creeper on my head at any minute. That would suck. Hello, there. I knew he was there. I just forgot how close I'd gotten to him. Get out of here. Wah! Okay. Oh gosh, even farther down. Don't know if I want to do this. Here goes nothing. Looks like the lighting updates are a little bit slow. I wonder if that's because it's a, dy a dynamic height map. Don't see anybody up there. I'm actually perplexed. I've seen to have gotten very few mobs down in this ravine, which is nice. Take it as a blessing. I gotta be careful here that I don't have something fall on my head, though. I'm really getting a little bit paranoid about that now, actually. I'm gonna get up here on this ledge. Yeah, it's pretty dark up there. Pretty dark up there. We got a lot of water flowing up here, too. I'm gonna want to drop this bucket. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Whatever. It's cool with me. Hmm. I can get up here. Oh, you're not gonna skip this. I don't have to walk on the water. Ugh, here we go. Now, I like having that water there because it slows down approaching enemy mobs. Let's make a little bridge here. I need to get some cobblestone in my inventory. Probably not gonna need ladders, though. So. Give me your bucket. Oops, I put it right back, didn't I? Get out of there. <laughs> I'm just going to put the water where I find it. That way I don't have to worry about carrying around lots of buckets of it. I can always collect them on the way out if I decide I want them. Of course, anything that fell this height would, that would be at, at a great disadvantage, considering it would lose a lot of health doing so. I'm going to swim up this water, because I want to collect it from the top. And I have to be careful that when I ride it down, I don't get myself killed. There we go. That's good enough. I'm just going to let it flow off of me here. Alright. Oh, that one over there is still pushing me around. That's irritating. Alright. Back up. Back up. Don't get cocky, kid! I like, this. I, I like this as a method for just dumping the water somewhere. See, I'm not losing the source blocks this way. I'm actually hanging on to them. Although, it's not like there's a shortage of them in the game. Oof, it's dark up there. I'll be careful. The music is loud. Man. Just seems too loud to me. I don't know. Although it's nice, when you, it's nice when you're playing by yourself. In a LP, it can be a little bit overpowering because it can be so loud. All right, May remain cautious. We are approaching the end of the ravine. All right, looks good. That's a, that's a, that's the ravine. Okay, cool. Well, how uh, how deep did we get down there? I wonder. All right, well, I guess we're going to explore that ledge up there next. I'm disappointed I didn't see any diamonds. But that's all right. Oh, balls! Ah, <laughs> uh, jeez. God, that's two times in a row. It's two times in a row I've been making these videos, and I gotten the shit scared out of me. Ah. Uh. <laughs> in the last one, how deep are we? Thirty-one. Okay. Oh God. Oh Jesus. 
<laughs> was that sound him falling? That whooshing sound? Or that was I blowing into the mic? What the hell was that? <laughs> I want to get the hell out of here now. Yes, we need to get back up to the top. I do not want any more mobs falling on my head. Huh, okay. Woo! Man. That was rough. Alright, being careful, being careful. I should cap off the top of this ravine. That way I don't have to worry about falling in it. Like an idiot. So let's let's actually let's do that here. Toodaloo. Sort of just covering it up here. So I don't have to worry about walking into it like an idiot. There we go. Very nice, very nice. Make it a little bit safer up here. So I'll go ahead and close this hole up too. I might make a walkway down there if I decide it's worth it to put torches around that raised area. But, oh man, that's the second time in a row these videos have gotten this shit scared out of me. And the reason I stopped recording the first time was because I, uh, I got like so startled by a skeleton popping out of nowhere and shooting me in the face that I opened my inventory and like threw a pickaxe at him. <laughs> like, it's pretty funny, actually. Maybe I should like put that footage in at the end of this episode. <laughs> I guess I will. So it's so embarrassing though. It's like ah, you just scream like a little girl. Whereas I don't, I don't, I don't like shriek like a little girl. I just go like oh, sh like I, I go oh instead of yelling. Huh. Yeah, the music's definitely adding some atmosphere here, isn't it? Hmm. Yeah, I don't know what this ledge up here is gonna do for me. Probably nothing much. There's not, I don't see any resources on it. But putting some light up here would be nice. So just to slow and discourage mobs from spawning up here. Oh, come on. Tell me I can reach that. I can't reach that? Ugh. Damn it. Well, I can't put a block there if I can't reach it, dude. Okay. Carefully. Careful. Oops. Not there. Dude. I'm just gonna crouch all the time now. Alright. Remain cautious. I got like holes in the path here. Yeah, nothing much going on up here. Nothing too exciting on the top part of the ravine, it seems. I just need to light it up just enough so that I can walk around on the bottom without having to worry about mobs jumping down in my face. <laughs> oh yeah, but when you get startled in Minecraft, those skeletons scare the shit out of me, man. And it's like, as soon as I see them, I'm fine, I calm down and I fight them. And I actually, I actually killed that skeleton fairly effectively. Well, you, you'll see the clip at the... Oh hell, why don't I just like stick it in right now so I can talk about it. There's some water flowing through there. That's nice. Ooh, I heard a skeleton. Oh shit! Ow! God damn it, dude! You're gonna give me a fucking heart attack. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. That hasn't happened in a while, man. Get out of here. Okay. Ooh, I. <laughs> That's a little bit embarrassing. Did I drop a pickaxe? What the hell? How did I? <laughs> I dropped a pickaxe somehow. That's gonna be interesting. I feel like everybody got the shit scared out of him when I did that. Yep, pretty bad, huh? Yeah, it's pretty, pretty freaking ridiculous. Let me check what time that is. All right. So at 13 something, I get to put in a clip of me being an idiot. All right, let's get the minerals. Minerals. Actually, I need an iron pickaxe for the gold, don't I? I guess I have some iron with me. I could make one. All right, let's put. Up, let's make a little base here, shall we? I have to wonder, on my mini-map, I think the house is just on the other side of that mountain, and in the east, I don't know if I'm close enough for my crops to grow, and I'd like them to be growing while I'm down here mining, so perhaps it would be worth our time to now that the, the ravine is cleared, swing back up top, and let me get this gold before I go, because the rest of it's just iron, it seems. If I'd run into a diamond vein, I would, I would have explored it out, but we pretty much emptied the ravine, and there wasn't a whole lot going on. 
Oh, look at all the gold here. This is enough for a clock. Perfect. It's just what I wanted. Give me that. I'm just gonna leave the rest of it. What good is gold? <laughs> what is gold good for, really? Is there Are there any new uses for it that I don't know about? I know that if you make diamond, or if you have gold flex, gold nuggets or whatever, you can make them into ingots. Can you make ingots into flex? Or what are they called? Nuggets? I guess they're called gold nuggets. I don't know. They're little pieces of gold. Where the heck are they? Yeah, it's a gold nugget. I've never used those. I've never actually had one in my inventory. So I don't know how to... Uh, I think I showed them off when I updated the poncho pack, but... I didn't, uh, I still haven't used them for anything. They, you get them from stuff in the nether, right? Like, like a, not a, is it a ghast? No, ghast drops ghast tears now. What does, what do you get the gold nuggets? Hmm. I have no idea. Maybe the blazes drop them? But they drop blaze rods. Although I've never had a blaze rod either. I've actually never fought a blaze. I don't know what they do. They fly around and shoot fireballs, right? That's what I've seen in videos. I, th I think those were blazes with the whirling bits. Anyway, it looks like it's daytime, and so maybe this is a good time for us to go up back upstairs and try and get our house in order here. Gosh, these mine shafts are going to get ridiculous. Double height map, starting at sea level, you have to go 100 blocks to get down to the good stuff. Huh, all right, let's see if they grew while we were down there. <gasps> yes, the oh shit, whoa, dang it, stop doing that, stop startling me. That is so... Ugh. Where is that guy? Ugh. He's probably in my freaking house. Ugh. You see, it's not like... I I've had this problem my whole life where I'm not easily frightened by creepy things or disturbing things. Like, I can watch a horror movie and have no problem sleeping. But if I'm walking through a tunnel and a zombie's like right in my ear, I'm like, oh shit, and like it startles the crap out of me. That's just like, that's always been my Achilles heel of fright, where I just, if something happens suddenly and loud, I always jump. Always jump. And if I'm unlucky enough to be speaking at the time, I go like, ugh, and like, ugh. It's not fun. Oh, why I just fall through that thing? Dude? What, would you stop? I meant to find him and kill him. I don't want there to be a spot for, well, they can spawn. This is a nice idea somebody gave me. Oh, get out of here. Is there any way to control what direction these things face? Oh, look at that, I have just the right amount. Divine Providence. Alright. Let's find this bastard. Okay, he's to the right now. Let's do the right. Let's go in here. He's above me. Okay, let's turn this way. Right or left? Definitely right. Alright, let's go over here. Right above me now. I heard him walking on dirt, too. Alright, he's up here. Let's dig him out. He's probably gonna, right, he's probably gonna land right on my crops, isn't he, the bastard? He's definitely around here. I sound like he was walking on dirt. I'm gonna walk to the side so if I can get him to move. Jeez, they're like right in my ears. Eh, there they are. You bastards. Murder holes. Lol. Give me your experience, balls. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Is there another one up here? Let's be careful now. I don't want to get killed in a cave this close to home. That would be really... That would be embarrassing. Alright, always up first. Always up first. Enemies coming from above are much more dangerous than those coming from below. <gasps> I see the light of day. Hallelujah! Let's go see where we are. Didn't know we had a cave entrance back here. Huh, what a pretty bay. And there's snow over there. Ice in the water. Oh, crap. Is one is 1.1 doing that weird thing that 1.0 did for some people? Oh, God, yeah, look at the map. There's the water. Oh, the oceans are freezing. Oh, my God. Hang on a second. Let me get back in here where it's safe. I'll open up my mini-map here. How do I... Uh... Yes, surface. I'll zoom out. Oh, God, not like that. There we go. Larger. How do I zoom in on it? 
Let's zoom out. How does one zoom out? I don't, I didn't, that didn't seem to do anything. <laughs> uh, what? Default zoom 1. Is there... What? How do I... Oh, I don't know how to use the mini-map. Mm. Oh, come on. Alright, well there, it's really friggin' big now. You can see the ocean's freezing. I hope that's not one of those, like, worldwide... Is it freezing out in front of the house, too? Or is that this shallow with sand? Hmm. What? What's it doing? Balls. Here we go. Auto. That's what I want. Exit. Thank you. Stop doing that. But yeah, I'm wondering if 1.1 is doing that weird thing that 1.0.0 did, where otherwise temperate biomes suddenly have their oceans just freeze. It's weird. It's like the temperature constant changed or something. I don't know how that all works. I guess this map actually has a mini... Uh, has like a temperature option, doesn't it? That's probably what it's for, so you can figure out what the heck, what kind of biome you're in. i put a torch down there. Good enough. There aren't any resources in this little vein here. Well, it's interesting that dirt was right here off the side of this tunnel. I guess I don't need this. I don't want to screw around with it. Let's just fill it in, shall we? Put a wall to back up. It ain't gotta be pretty. Get that crap out of here. Look at that. Work of modern art right there. Just beautiful. Why aren't my reeds growing? I'm confused. Well, some of them aren't going to grow if they hit the torches above them. That's a problem. Let me move those. Come here, you. Isn't this what it takes for reeds to grow? Water, dirt, time? I thought they grew fairly quickly. Did they change that at 1.1? Oh, I wouldn't be surprised. Wouldn't be surprised at all. Crops definitely are growing. That's, that one's finished back there. But these are lagging behind, and I'm not sure why. Is the ceiling too low? Could that be stopping them from growing? Hmm. Let's do a little experiment, shall we? I'll remove the ceiling from that one row. We'll see if only that row grows. Experimentation! You get a little bit of... Oh, it is freezing out here, isn't it? Oh, Jesus. Are you serious, man? Creeper creeping? Nope. Yeah, look at that. It's freezing out there by that island. Okay, that's weird. Why does that happen? When you change... Sometimes when you update, the oceans just start to freeze. That's a really weird bug. How, how are they going to chase that down? Like the temperature constant's not being kept track of properly somewhere? Or something's going wrong. This this shouldn't happen. Unless you just have one... But it's not... Weather's not done, like, chunk by chunk anymore, either, so... It's done by biome. Unless I have, like, a tiny snow biome in the ocean here. Which I don't think happens. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe it's the coming of the next ice age. Global warming, man. It's gonna ruin the environment, ruin the weather. Well, we're gonna ruin it via global warming. But whatevs. Apparently 1.1 now you can climb... Oh, no, no, you can't climb vines yet. In the newest snapshot, you can climb on vines if they have a solid block behind them. Which essentially makes them cheap, growable ladders. <laughs> but you can't use them when they're hanging over free space. It's a little weird. Get out of here. So can you not... Yeah, I still can't click and attack. That's strange. Check on those reeds. They should have grown by now. Why aren't you growing? Reeds? I'm confused by this. Huh, that's really weird. I thought that... I could have sworn that this is all it took to grow reeds. I'm really confused now. I mean, they're still... They're, they still have water near them and everything, so that can't be the problem. They have enough light. I don't even know if they need light, honestly. They've got... Space above them? I, I'm really, really perplexed here. And these used to grow really quickly, too. That's right, that's quite strange. Huh. I don't know, maybe I need to... pick them up and put them back down. Perhaps they need to be updated now that I've changed the, like, to the next version. They're, like, stuck. Or maybe it's just a bug for 1.1 I haven't seen yet, is that reeds just don't grow. <laughs> that would suck. Alright, well, experimenting. We'll see if those grow at all. 
anyways, um, I guess, let's see, how much time have we got going here? 25 minutes? Alright. Not too bad. We'll have to make sure we track how much ocean is frozen out there. Look at that, I can just watch it and see it freezing. It's expanding. Take a screenshot. Oh, I can check my map later and see if it's, uh, expanding. Oh, man. Pretty crazy. Alright, what are we doing? Got all kinds of crap in here. Oh, yeah, I got some gold. Let's go ahead and smelt that up, shall we? Put a couple of these in here. Kaboom. I think it takes three to do that much. And then, did I get, did I get any more iron in this trip? I don't think I did. I got some, uh, more creeper dust, which is nice. Gunpowder. Got more seeds here. Hmm. Saplings, boats. I'm trying to figure out what I should be doing here. I can make mushroom stew and stuff. Whatevs. I could grow pumpkins. You can get pumpkin seeds and stuff, but pumpkins aren't really worth anything, are they? Why would you want to grow pumpkins? What can you get from them? That's the question. To be or not to be? Still haven't found any lava, still haven't found any diamonds. Disappointing. I think I'm going to try to get down to the bottom of that ravine and dig a mine shaft. I still haven't found any redstone either. How am I going to make a clock if I don't have a redstone? Yeah, we got some uh, We got some work to do. Where'd my workbench go? Did I leave it down there somewhere? I thought I picked it back up the last time I used it. Um, perplexed again. What? I can always make another one, but still. Alright, get off my hotbar. You go back down there. Let's eat some zombie flesh. Why not? It's free food. Yeah, it makes you hungry, but whatever. It's like drinking salt water. Since in Minecraft it actually works. It's kind of funny. Ooh, hunger! Neat! 25 seconds. Whatever that means. I have no idea what this little countdown even means for... your, uh... Oh my god, it doesn't seem to be doing anything to my hunger bar. It, it, it refilled the stuff. It's not doing damage to my health or anything, so... don't care. Why aren't you growing reeds? Somebody in the comments must know why these aren't growing. Because this is a very... Oh, balls. <laughs> Every time. Now my hunger's gone. Oh. Wait, now I'm hungry again. Uh-oh. I sense a problem here. Is that going to keep happening? Every time it runs out, it just makes me hungry again. That would suck. Is that timer not how long, t how long it lasts, but how long until I get hungry? Could be. Could very well be. You know, I know, I know what we should do. We should get some redstone and make a map and explore this area. Because even with the uh, Argi mini map, it's still neat to be able to look down at a map in game and actually see the ones that they've coded for us. Oh, dang, I'm getting hungry again. Hmm. Okay. I guess the rotten flesh isn't really worth much as food, is it? I don't exactly know how it works, so I'm a little bit lost there. It's nighttime again. Crescent moon. Yeah, let's get back down to the bottom. Let's we'll whip it back down there, and then we'll start a mine shaft in the bottom of the ravine. That's what we'll do. And trying to get gold. Oh, well, actually, I really don't need gold at all. Trying to get diamonds, and we need to get some obsidian as well. So, down we go. Actually, this one has the water at the bottom, doesn't it? Very nice. And then this one does not have water. So we have to be careful here. We don't die. It's not too hard to avoid death most of the time. What can I say? Alright, and then around this way. Oh, this is going to get annoying, having to walk all this distance every time. It was this way, right? Wasn't it? Wasn't it? Yes, and then down. Oh, hello, creeper. You guys are spawning in places that I'm supposed to have cleared out. Why would you do that? Oh, you're retarded. It's so cute. Apparently the zombies have... Oh, God! The zombies have better AI in the next snapshot coming out. Which is interesting. Means that they actually are gonna come try and come towards you around obstacles rather than just running into them like that creeper was just doing. So, it's kind of a good thing. I don't know why I'm getting enemies spawning in here. I think it means that I'm not putting down enough torches. But, I can't tell. Yeah, I left it down here, didn't I? Hmm. There's the workbench. Alright. No big deal. I can't really tell how bright things are supposed to be, because when I have the brightness turned up like it is now... Yeesh. There's another tunnel up there. I hear zombies. Hmm. Definitely some zombies over there somewhere. Hmm. 
Is that up there what I think it is? Yeah, it's another tunnel up entrance up there. Oh gosh. I'm gonna have stuff falling on me all the time if I don't do something about that. Eh, don't care. I wanna get down to the deep parts of the ocean. The ocean? What? Now uh, the deeper parts of the ravine here and start digging a mine shaft down there. We wanna get down close to the bedrock before we start screwing around with just digging randomly. Gosh, look at the mini-map. The oceans are just freezing at this astounding rate. That is... not good news. I was planning on using a boat to navigate and fill in a map around here, but now it's looking more and more like this area is going to become near impossible to navigate. <laughs> Extreme caution! Eh. Eh. There we go. Brighten that. Don't know how far I need to go down here before I dig my next mine shaft. Really, the bottom of this ravine is not particularly helpful. And probably the less time I spend down here, the better. Probably gonna get killed if I hang out, hang out down here too long, because I'm gonna have shit falling on my head all the time. Which is not cool. Not okay. Hello, zombies. Where are you guys? Well, I guess here is as good a place as any to make a mine shaft. Right underneath the dark parts. So I think in the next episode of Let's Play Minecraft Hardcore, I'm going to continue this mine shaft. Or start it, rather. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll search out these zombies that I'm hearing first. Could be a spawner. That would be nice. They sound like they're close. So in the next episode of Let's Play Minecraft Hardcore, I'm going to try and find these really obnoxious zombies and put an end to their undead suffering. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.